uh, this lesson is on probability. This is kind of a fun lesson. So um, uh, there's our common course strand for our, our, our teachers. And then how can we describe the likelihood of an event? All right, so each time we roll a numbered cube, like uh, let's say in Monopoly, there's the numbers on the, on the cube go from 1 to 6. So a 1 will land, a 2 will land, or a 3, 4, 5, or a 6, okay? And each one of those numbers is called an event. So decide how many of the six possible results of rolling the number cube match the described event. And so I'll give you some examples here below. So then order the events from least likely, say it's a one if it's very unlikely, and a nine if it's very, very, very likely, okay? And then somewhere in between. So these are kind of guesstimate sort of answers. Uh, and a number in each box at the right, okay? So we're gonna decide how many uh, of the six possible results of rolling the number cube match the description and then we'll order those events from least likely to um, uh, very very likely okay remember the cube only has the numbers one through six so let's say we roll a cube uh, how many how many numbers on there have a, uh, a number that's uh, less than seven well all of them do uh, one two three four five and six so of all possible six rolls. So how likely is that going to be? That's going to be very likely that we roll a cube and it's going to pop up with a number less than six. So very likely would be uh, scheduled as a, as a nine. So we'll put a nine in there. How about rolling an eight? Okay, not less than eight, but rolling an eight. Well, there's no eights on there, so there's zero out of the six possible sides. So um, uh, least likely would be a one. So we'll put a one in there. How about rolling a number that's greater than four? Okay, well, what numbers are greater than four? Well, five and six are. So there's two of the six possible rolls, two out of six, so I, I don't know. How would you schedule that? A one, a two, a three, a four? Definitely not a nine, because um, uh, there's only two of the six possible. So I said maybe a three to a four. If you said a two, that would be okay also. In fact, I think your book might have said a two. I don't know. How about rolling a five? Well, there's only one five, so that's going to be less than the five or a six. So I'm going to say maybe a one to a two. It might be a two, but I, I don't know. A one would be almost uh, unlikely. It wouldn't be likely. How about rolling another, a number other than six? Well, there's five numbers on there that are not six, so that's pretty likely. I'm going to say probably an eight. Okay, now if you said a seven or an 8.5 or an eight to nine, those are all okay, just as long as you recognize uh, the least likely would be 1, and the most likely would be 9. How about rolling an even number? Okay, well, even numbers would be 2, 4, 6. So those are three of the six possible sides. So, so that's about even, so right in the middle of 1 to 9. So I'm going to say a 4 to 5, so 4.5 would even be better. Rolling a number that's less than 5. Okay, well, uh, it's not saying 5, so the numbers less than 5 are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So four of the six possibilities, so that's going to be a little bit more than four to five. I'm going to say a six, maybe a six to seven. I don't know. How about rolling an odd number? Well, there's three odd numbers, just like rolling an even number, so it's going to be the same, about four to five, okay? Rolling a number that's divisible by three. Well, three is divisible by three, so is six, so there's two of the six possible rolls that would happen on that. So maybe a 3 to a 4, I don't know, it's, it's definitely less than that. Okay, whoops, let me go back. So uh, uh, rolling a prime number, okay, well a prime number, you guys, is any number whose product is itself with 1, okay? Now 1 is not considered a prime number. 2 is the first and only even prime number. All the other prime numbers are odd numbers. So the only way we can multiply two numbers to get 2 is 2 times 1. 3 is the next prime number because the only way to get 3 is 3 times 1. 4 is not prime because 4 does equal 4 times 1, but it also equals 2 times 2. So if they're not prime, they're called composite numbers, okay? 5 is a prime number. 6 is not prime because 6 is 6 times 1, and 6 is also 2 times 3. So 4 and 6 are called the composite numbers because they're not prime. And 1, it's mistakenly, a lot of people think it's prime, but it's... It's actually called the identity number. It's not prime nor composite. Okay, so uh, two is actually the first prime number, and it's the only even prime number. All the rest are odds right there. So um, our likelihood of rolling a pi prime number are two, three, and five. Those are three numbers, so I'm going to say four to five. Okay, so, so somewhere in between four and five. All right, so 
Are any events uh, impossible when you're rolling a cube? Sure, we can't roll an 8 because there's no 8s on the cube, so that would be impossible. That would be a 1. Okay, an experiment is an activity involving chance uh, in which results are observed. So each observation of an experiment is called a trial. And each result is called the outcome. So the probability, which is this lesson here, of an, of an event, and it's written P of the event, which means the probability of an event, measures the likelihood that the event will occur. And probability is always a number between 0 and 1. Okay, it could be, um, it could be a number that's written as a fraction, like this is 0 over 1, this is 1 over 2, this is 1. Okay, 0 represents... Um, uh, how much, what's the chance of it becoming, you know, like the, an 8? You can't get an 8, so the, the improbability would be 0 because there's 0 8s on there. Okay, so it could be written as a fraction. It also could be written as a decimal. So 0 is equivalent to 0, 0.0. 1 half is equivalent to 0. 0.5. And then uh, 1 is equivalent to 1.0. It also could be represented as a percent. Okay, 0%. 0.5 is 50%, so have you heard of 50-50? So that's when it's half the chances will be likely. And then 100% would mean uh, 1.0 1, 1 or 1 right there, okay? All right, so uh, if the event is not likely to occur, the probability of, of the event is closer to 0. So that would mean it would be unlikely. And an event is more likely to occur, it's going to be closer to 1. The probability be closer to 1. It'll never be greater than 1. It'll never be less than zero. It's some number, whether it's a number or a fraction or a percent that's uh, in between zero and one. Could be zero, it could be one, but nothing uh, on, the, on, the, on the outside boundaries of that. So tell whether the event is impossible, unlikely, uh, as likely as not, that just means 50-50, or certain, or that just means 100%. It's always going to happen. And then tell whether the probability is zero, it's close to zero, it's a half, or it's close to one, or it is one. Okay, so here's number A, okay, or letter A. You roll a six-sided number cube, and the number is one or greater. Well, that's going to be all of them, you guys. So, so let's answer this. So um, uh, it's definitely certain we're going to get a number that's 1 or greater. The probability is going to be uh, not close to 1. It's going to be exactly 1. So this event is certain to happen, so the probability is 1. How about, okay, we do the uh, dice again, and so uh, our die for, for singular. Uh, we roll two numbered cubes, uh, so we're rolling two dice, and the sum of the numbers is three. Okay, so here's two cubes right here. So the first one represents the first cube. The second number represents the second cube. So we can get a one and a one. We can get a one and a two, a one and a three, a one and a four, a one and a five, a one and a six. Or we can get a two on the first dice, a one on the second dice, a two and a two, a two and a three, all the way down to we can get a six on the first dice, a one on the second dice, all the way to a six and a six. Well, there's 36 different ways. How many of them have a sum of three? These, these guys do. Only two of the 36. So that one's going to be pretty much um, uh, unlikely to happen, and that probability it won't be zero because you could make it happen, but it would be close to zero. Okay, here's uh, letter C. So a bowl contains discs uh, marked with the numbers 1 through 10. You close your eyes and select a disc at random, okay? And so you pick an odd number. Well, how many odd numbers are between 1 and 10? Well, let's see. 1 is, 3 is, 5 is, 7 is, 9 is. I count 5 of them, so that's 50-50. So, uh, uh, so let's answer this question. So it's, it's going to be as likely as it is not. That means 50-50 right there. And the probability is going to be 1 half right there, okay? All right, so a spinner has eight equal sections marked 0 through 7. So those are eight numbers because we're including 0. So, uh, and you spin and land on a prime number. Okay, so what are the prime numbers between 0 and 7? Okay, the eight numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And of these eight numbers, these are the prime numbers. Out of the eight numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4 of them are prime. So that would be 50-50. So that, effect, that event uh, is likely as it is not likely. Okay, which just means 50-50. It's an awkward way your book is suggesting you write that, but it is what it is, so here we go. 
All right, so the probability of event A is one-third and the probability of event B is one-fourth. What can we conclude about that? Well, one-third is bigger than one-fourth, so, um, and they're both small, so neither is very likely, although event A is more likely to happen than event B because uh, one-third is greater than one-fourth, okay? All right, so uh, is, an, uh, uh, is an even... Uh, is an even that is not certain an impossible event. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about there. What am I saying? Uh, okay. Oh, is an event. That's what I'm trying to talk about. So is an event that is not likely certain and possible. Okay, I see what I'm doing. Let's put the T in there. Okay, so is it um, uh, possible that it, it won't happen? Well, no. There's all kinds of, you know, like if I want to play the lottery, the chances are I'm not going to win that lottery, but, but I could. Okay, so just because it's it's not certain doesn't mean uh, that you're you're gonna lose every time. So it's like casinos, you know, they they uh, they have big jackpots there, but the chances are if you winning is is not very likely, but you could win. Okay, so a hat contains pieces of paper marked with the numbers one through sixteen. Uh, tell whether picking an event number is impossible, unlikely. Uh, as likely as not, that means 50-50, or likely or definitely 100% we're certain that's going to happen. And then tell us where the, where the probability is close to zero, it's a half, or it's close to one, or it is one. Okay, so half of the numbers are even, so half of them are odd. So it's uh, likely or not means 50-50, so the probability is going to be close to a half right there uh, if we pick an even number through 1 through 16, okay? All right, so finding probability, guys, the sample space is a set of all possible outcomes for an event. Uh, so we list all the different kind of outcomes. That would be the sample space, and the sample space can be small, such as there's only two outcomes when you flip a coin, heads or tails. Or a sample space can be very large, such as all the possible different California license automobile uh, plates, okay? Classic automobile plates, okay? So my son's automobile is his name with the number two on it, so... Anyways, identifying uh, the sample space can help us calculate the probability of an event. And so the probability of an event is the number of times the event can occur divided by how many total there are in the whole thing. So that's how we get our probability. It's a, a fraction answer. Now, when I used to teach this in statistics, I'd say it's the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. So the total goes on the bottom and your favorable goes on top. What's the probability of rolling an even number on a standard number cube? Okay, so the sample space is going to be for the cube. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the total number. That's our bottom number. And the number of even numbers, that's our favorable number. This is our top number, is, uh, there is 3. There's 3 numbers out of the 6 right there, okay? So the probability of the event is the number of uh, favorables divided by the total. So we're going to put 3 over 6. And, of course, that reduces to one-half, so the probability of an event is equal to, an, of an even number is equal to a half. Now, in math, you guys, three dots means therefore. So if you ever see that, that just means therefore the probability of rolling an even number is, uh, is one-half right there. Okay, it's 50-50. Okay, the complement of an event is the set of all outcomes in the sample space that are not included in the event. Okay, so, for example, if the event of rolling a three... Uh, if the in the event of rolling a three on a number cube, okay, so there's only one three, the complement of rolling any other number than three uh, would be rolling the one, two, four, five, or six. So if we're, if we're finding the probability of rolling a three, its complement would be uh, the other numbers right there. And so so uh, an event and its complement they always add to one, okay. All right, so we're going to use that one right there. So if we know the probability of an event and we know the probability of its complement, then we know that they have to add up to one. So there's two red jacks in a standard deck of 52 cards, okay? What's the probability of not getting a red jack if we select a card at random, okay? So there's two red jacks in there, so the probability of our event plus the complement is going to equal one. So we want to know uh, what's the probability of not selecting a red jack, okay? So the red jack, there's 2 out of 52. And then, uh, so we're going to change this 1 right here to have common denominators so we can subtract 2 over 52 from both sides, okay? So I'm going to change 1 to 52 over 52, so it has the same denominator as that. So there's that right there, and then we can subtract the 2 over 52. 
then 52 over 52 minus 2 over 52 is 50 over 52. Okay, so the probability of a red jack, we can reduce that. That reduces to 25 over 26. So that probability uh, that we will not draw a red jack is 25, 26. And that's very likely that we'll select a, a card uh, that's not a red jack. All right, you guys. Hope that makes sense and, and take care.